All right, so today we're gonna do Janae Aiko, 10K Hours. It's a beautiful piano song. And it's pretty simple. It's just a four chord sequence. So I'm gonna show you the things I do and some of the substitutions that they do in the song. So the first chord, and this one never changes, it's always a A. So A, B, C sharp, E. Sometimes I add the B on the high end, just so, just for some brightness. The second chord is the one where they change a few times during the song, depending on where the song is um, and how it feels. And you kind of have to listen to the song for specifically what chord they're going to play, but um, you can also make it your own. But in the, at least in the beginning, they're playing uh, G sharp minor seven um, but making it look like this G sharp D sharp F sharp G sharp A, uh, B so you have the A G sharp minor seven and then a C sharp minor So we're going to play C sharp, E, G sharp, B, D sharp. This one, you can also add the uh, F sharp to make it a, a 11. You have the B, you can add just the, you know, there's plenty of notes you can add to like really dirty it up or you know but that's kind of the base these uh, five notes and then the last chord is a E7 so they usually do like C sharp so they're playing a E B into the E7. So the E7 is E, G sharp, E, D. Uh, I, I have the B at the bottom. So with just those four, you're going to get So there's a couple things you can do uh, on the second chord, the G sharp, and it just depends on where the song is and some of the other, you know, like there's a certain progression they use going into the chorus. Um, it feels like they're playing different things on both verses, but you can substitute this out with a couple chords. So one of them I heard was if you keep it on the G sharp, so G sharp, F sharp, G sharp, C, E. So. So that's one option. Um, another option is a, you can keep it on the A into this chord. So A, you uh, basically go from a major to a minor. A, C, E, uh, G sharp. So it could sound like And what I'm doing there with the C sharp is I'm going from that uh, nine and just moving it up into a 11 sound, a C sharp 11 sound. Another option back with the A is if you go into a A minor nine, a, C, E, B. 
and you can do something like this. So I did a B, A, E, F sharp going into that uh, C sharp minor. Yep. And then, so those are some options for like substitutions. Um, before they basically, like at the end of the chorus and at the end of the verses, they'll play something like this. And what that is, is uh, they're just replacing that second chord with two chords. So they're doing a uh, D sharp minor seven, D sharp, F sharp, A sharp, C sharp, into a D seven. D, F sharp, A, C. and then into your C-sharp minor 7, minor 9. All right. Um, another thing I like to do is you can extend that chord, uh, those two chords. And instead of playing, you could do something like that. And that one is same chord, just adding the nine and the eleven of that uh, of that chord. So E flat, oh sorry, D sharp, F sharp, A sharp, C sharp, F, uh, G sharp. And then to this chord, you're gonna add a E and a G sharp. So something like that. And then into your C sharp uh, minors. That's actually the um, the chords to uh, uh, could have been by her. We could have been. We could have been. Yep. So when you put it all together, you know. Something like that. Um, I just mixed in, you know, the different two chords that I liked, and uh, you know, made it sound pretty. All right. So, you know, you can always DM me with questions if you have them. But thank you for watching.